Hello chess friends and welcome to the channel. Today it's round 6 of the Shamkir Chess 2019 Gashimov Memorial. Karsen, who is leading the tournament, drew his game against Ding with the black pieces, so the other games became more important than ever. Between the two decisive games, today I'm going to show you Tofalov vs Mamediarov and tomorrow morning I'll try to upload Karyakin vs Sanand. So let's start with the first game. Veselin Topalov with the white pieces opens with e4 and Mamediaro answers with e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6 and bishop to b5 the ruled opens. a6, bishop back to a4 and knight to f6 attacking the pawn the Murphy defends. Topalov castle short. Many times we met this variation we said that even if it's possible for black to capture the pawn Maybe this is not the best solution. In fact, Mamediarov continues with the close variation bishop to e7. Rook to e1, now controlling the center file and also defending the pawn, and b5 attacking the bishop again. Bishop to b3, d6, c3 with the clear idea of pushing d4, and short castle for black. h3, because now that black castle is... Uh, easy and safe for white to play h3 and bishop to b7 d4 rook to e8 and knight to g5 now both the bishop and the knight are targeting f7 so with this move with this line a white and black can find an easy draw how because now black brings back the rook to f8 protecting the pawn and the white brings back the knight to f3 Mamediarov continues with the repetition, rook to e8, and if also white and black continues with, the, with the, the same moves, it's a draw by repetition. But Topalov changes move. He plays knight in b, goes to d2. Bishop to f8, a3 now, g6, that uh, opens g7 for the bishop. Bishop back to a2, bishop to g7, and b4. Finally, one of the two players, he changed something in the center, he captures on the 4 and C recaptures on the 4. Here comes A5, a good move, and in this position, black is uh, completely equal. Topalov plays a very interesting move, rook to b1. This is not uh, maybe the computer's favorite, maybe the computer's would play and prefers queen to b3, but uh, the game is original now because uh, no other games with this move, and uh, this move is quite interesting because if black captures on b4, the rook on b1 is controlling a file where two pawns and the bishop are all undefended. Okay, let's watch. In fact, black captures. A captures on before d5 first because the knight is defending before the knight moves to e5 and see that uh, these three elements uh, are without defense. Knight captures on e5, d recaptures and rook captures on before also attacking b5. C6, d captures on c6 and bishop recaptures on c6. Queen to f3. Watching f6 but also controlling a3 because a3 is a tactical weakness and why is a tactical weakness? Because it's an element that is under attack protected by, by a piece and not by a pawn. In fact this is a good move because bishop to f8 not only attacks the rook but when the rooks will move will also attacks the pawn and if not for queen to f3 the pawn would be lost. Rook back to b1 rook to a4 another good move and knight to f1 this knight was protecting e4 in fact um, mamediarov captures the pawn now rook to d1 supported by the queen threatens black queen the queen moves to e7 and bishop to g5 bishop and queen attacking the knight on f6 and bishop to g7 adding a second defense this knight from f1 to e3, black is, is yes a pawn up, but at least Topalov was able to relocate his pieces to the best. This position 
a sort of an inaccuracy, a move that is a bit rushed. Queen captures on e3, the queen can leave the defense of the knight because in case of bishop captures, bishop recapture, queen capture, the queen can capture the bishop on e2, but after rook to a1, now Tofalov is threatening to win the queen with the discovered attack, bishop capture on f7 with check, and the queen is lost. So the queen must go back, but where? It must go back to e7, because she was protecting the knight. Mamediarov plays queen to c5, and this is a great mistake. Why? So in this position, it's true that white can't capture now, because after bishop captures on f6, there is rook to f4, tucking the queen and regaining the bishop. But after queen to c5, white has another resource. The most important of the in-between moves the threat to the queen. Rook in the goes to c1, attacking the queen. Not only that, if the queen now moves back to e7, the bishop is lost. And um, also, queen to d6 in this position doesn't work. Because here comes rook captures on c6, queen recaptures on c6, and after bishop captures, bishop captures, knight to d5, we win something back because uh, the rook can't move to f4 because the knight will jump with check and the queen is lost and so uh, white is winning the game so what to play now after queen to c5 rook in the goes to c1 what to play mamiliarov plays rook to c4 with the discovered attack against the queen queen to d1 in this position uh, let me show you one variation. In this position, rook captures on c1 doesn't work because white will recapture. Rook captures on c1 attacking the queen. Queen back to b6, still defending the bishop. Bishop captures on f6. Bishop recaptures. Now this bishop is undefended. This other bishop is already under attack. Queen to d6 is a winning fork. The rook can't move to e6 because there is the bishop that is defending the square. So after queen to d1, Mamediarov plays knight to e4, attacking the other bishop. But after bishop captures on c4 with the same threat, now the knight can't capture the, the white bishop because there is bishop capture we check and the queen is lost. So b captures on c4 and rook captures on c4, protected by the knight, attacks the queen. In this position, Mamediarov resigns because he's a quality down for one pawn, but Topalov, with his heavy pieces controlling this file in the center of the board, uh, is dominating. The game could continue with queen to b6, keep defending the bishop, now rook to b1, attacking the queen again, queen to a6, and bishop to h4 away from the knight attack. G5 seems the best move. Rook to A1 attacking the queen again. Queen to B6. Rook in A goes to C1. And in this position, Bishop to B7. If Bishop to B8, there is Rook to C8 still winning the game. This position, again, Rook to B1 again attacking the queen. Queen back to A6. Queen to D7 attacking the Rook. Knight to F6 protecting the rook and attacking the queen, but the queen captures on b7, queen captures, rook captures, the pawn will capture, and rook captures on h4. So, also, three pawns against three pawns, and uh, white has um, the equality. But uh, move after move, um, white position will become stronger and stronger, and soon black's position will become impossible to hold, and that's why... Mamediarov resigned. So what to say about the game? About the game, I'm quite happy. Uh, where I'm not so happy is that I'm not so happy about Mamediarov because he's a great player, but uh, with too many ups and downs. And what do you think? Let me know in the comments below the video.
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow, another game from this nice tournament. For now, thanks for watching and goodbye.